for two million was a composition basically of two several ideas I had. Uh, the first one was to have a entire film take place uh, during a hostage crisis inside a house basically so the entire 90 minutes or two hours would be just like um, a heist of a house gone wrong and then I combined that idea with the idea just to have a kind of modern day noir in Joburg. <laughs> My office is downtown. Oh, when was the same, man. Rabun bon clients in May Diaco. Lalala, say I'm a sea office in Laco. It's a fully safe with Tatimali with five lama plastic bags. All right. It's a story about trust, it's a story about uh, betrayal, the story about um, a friendship. Uh, it's a story mm. about family, it's, it's, it's a love story, it's got every, all the elements that makes it so you know appealing to each and every person. It's just a story of uh, morality. How do you do good when you're surrounded by so many bad influences? How do you keep your moral center intact, I suppose? You had no idea what it was like. Jack is basically a good man in a bad world. So call the business. As a cover for what? Loot. It's legit. I'm serious. It's honest and it's clean. We don't need a cash, I get it. need it again. Jack, he is an honorable man because when he came out from prison, he he made a decision that he's not gonna go back to what he was doing before. He wanted to come clean. Jack doesn't have money. When you're from prison, you don't have money, you don't have nothing. So he came with a carrot that he has a chance to steal a two million. The opportunity is happening every day. Even when he was training, Oliver says, I've never shoot anyone, I've never killed anyone. Yes, I do rob people and I do, I do this thing, but I've never shot anyone. So, I think, yeah, he is an honorable man. The relationship between Jack and Twala is that uh, they're, they were best friends, basically, before the movie started, before Jack went to jail. They were partners in crime, partners in like, friendship, they did everything together. Olive is a typical um, ghetto girl. She's a fighter, she's a survivor, she'll do whatever it takes to, to survive. She'll steal, rob and lie if it means it's going to get her uh, one step further. The choices that she made will definitely get her in trouble, or maybe not. Mm. You'll have to watch and see. <laughs> She knows that there's this other woman that Jack is still crazy about. And she knows she can never, ever, ever replace her. And I think at that moment, it's like, oh my God, is that her? Jack and Olive, they're basically, as far as I see it, kindred spirits almost. They both want to do good, but unfortunately they have to do some bad things along the way. I have a son. Can't wait. There are individuals out there who are like Twala, you know, who you know uh, uh, were born with a silver spoon in their mouths, you know, and uh, they relied a lot on uh, 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 their parents and you know the successes of their parents, and that's it. And never actually uh, 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 lifted a finger to to really work hard for you know for uh, uh, the kind of things, uh, beautiful things that they had. So uh, obviously, yes, I did, you know, draw up on those kind of people and, uh, and, and see how they behaved and stuff like that. And in desperate times, what they would do, you know. And they are really quite like Twala. <laughs> yeah. You know, the choices that Kims make are really just based on the pleasures of the flesh and the pleasures of the here and now. I think she's not a long-term vision looker. I think she's somebody who likes instant gratification and where she comes first, regardless who's in her way or regardless who gets hurt. And, uh, you know, it's worked for her, but I think at the end of the day, as I said, she's a very lonely woman and I think really yearns for something bigger than that, but I don't think she has the chutzpah to really lose it all for the man that she loves. I loved being beaten up by Twala. It was, I was battered and bruised <laughs> the next day. And uh, it was nice to have like the stunt crew coming along and patting me up. You know, that's always very interesting. Kim 
was Jack's fiance before he went to prison. While he is imprisoned for five years, she uh, breaks off the engagement and marries uh, Twala, Jack's uh, former best friend. I'm Johnny Fro. I'm a Yeah, no mas, expensive. Think about to apologize. For what? Can I say about the village and the village and the village? The village and the village and the village and the village and the village. It's amazing to work with Charlie. Uh, because some of the stuff that they did, you know, he would say, you, all right, we, we're going to go again. Uh, and then he calls you on the side, you know? Most of the directors, they don't do that. He, he just calls you on the side. And, and he, 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 he paints this picture. Only that, you know, the, on this on, on this take, I want you to do A, B, C, uh, don't do D, E, F, and what? Let, let's just try that. I want to see. Let's just try it. Just okay? Are you okay? And say, so like, no, cool. Let's try it. And when we do it, he says, hmm, excellent. And you're like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Working with Charlie, um, he's so intense, he's so passionate, and he's so intelligent, and he uses words very carefully. Mm. So as an actor, you're always on your toes, because he doesn't say much. Mm. But if he said good, then you know it's good. If he said yes, excellent, then you then jump you know up and down. <laughs> you know, he reminds me of all of those directors who I love, honestly, because the film is not about them. You know, it's about you know, a team of people. Oh yeah, that's, that's it. it, yeah, that's it. There you go. The cast were incredible, unbelievable cast. We couldn't have uh, cast any better if we tried. We got everybody we wanted, literally. Menzi, for me, this is his best performance of ever. I don't think people have ever quite seen him like this. Rapulana, uh, I mean, I guess people have come to expect that he's going to be great here. I think he he really brought it. Terry, she's great because. She kind of has this uh, reputation of being the sweet girl, I suppose. And uh, here yeah. we definitely cast against type. Kubi, she's an amazing presence. I think people are all very familiar with her from her uh, other roles in uh, film and television. But I think we've hopefully shown a different side of her as well. John, I mean, the man's career speaks for itself. Another thing about John is that he was so willing to listen and open to me as a first-time filmmaker. For a square school, you need patience, preparation, and time. So, what have you got planned? Something big. Something, if it's not in the right, it could be dangerous. Action! It says here you worked in Motorby Prison. Were you involved in the construction of the new cell block? No. I was doing time. So, you were in the prison? It's a cult business. As a cover for what? Loot. It's legit. You don't need a cash, I get it. What can I only do it? If you don't care enough to steal it, you will not be able to steal it. What do you A shrink or a thief? I can be whatever you want me to be. The opportunities are thing every day. Nanga be kilo ena. I pay attention. Then I pay in ten good to go yole. If we pull it off, it will be beautiful. For a square school, you need patience, preparation, and time. And I was thinking you were going legit. 